Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Little Knits. I am Maria. I am a knitter and uh, also a prop vendor. I hand knit, sorry, um, photography props for a newborn and sitters. Um, if you want to learn how to knit this bonnet, uh, this is what uh, I am trying to do in this, uh, actually my first <laughs> tutorial ever. So uh, I apologize, my English is not so good. Um, I am so nervous. <laughs> I hope to uh, manage um, to explain you uh, and to you uh, to understand. Uh, how I knit this bonnet. Um, this is Lucia, the name of the bonnet. Um, it fits newborn. See? Two textures. This is air from uh, Katia yarns. This is alpaca from uh, Gallery Yarns. The bonnet uh, has um, hand knit ties. This is uh, the border. For the border, I used uh, a crochet hook. It's easy to make. And uh, I hope you will enjoy knitting this pattern with me. See you later. So, what we need for this project is obviously <laughs> yarn. Um, this is air from uh, Katia Yarns, but if you don't have this type of yarn, it's okay. You can always use mohair kid silk mohair this is um alpaca baby from uh, king call but again you can use um any yarn you have dk yarn need uh, needles 3.5 millimeters scissors so let's get started first of all we will uh, cast on uh, 54 stitches let's see this is how I cast on you um, can do whatever cast on method you know so let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i will come back to you when uh, i have my 54 stitches So I got my 54 stitches. Now for the first row, which is the wrong side row, I will knit three. I have already knit two. This is my third. And then purl. until the last three stitches this part I um, knit uh, with my um, uh, Portuguese style 
that's why you don't see the yarn it's <laughs> on my neck <laughs> so purl until you reach the last three stitches and those last three stitches just knit these are these six stitches are the border always knit the border in garter stitch almost there let's see okay so these are my last three stitches knit them one two and three row two which is the right side knit the first three stitches I actually don't knit the first stitch see let me show you this is the border and this is the first stitch that I don't knit it's a beautiful border so let's see slip the first stitch onto the right needle as if you purl and then knit the next two stitches from now on we will work this gap pair pattern it's very easy so let's see yarn over knit two together see make this now knit three stitches one two three once again yarn over knit two together knit three one two three again yarn over knit two together knit three two three yarn over knit two together knit three one two three again yarn over knit two together knit three one two and three i will show you this first row yarn over knit two together knit three one two and three yarn over knit two together knit three one two three it's hard to work when you have camera in the front of your needles oh my god so let's see yarn over knit two together knit three one two three once again yarn over two together knit one two three yarn over knit 
two together, we have two, four, five stitches on the needles. Just knit until the end of the row. Okay, this was the second row. Row three, four, and five. Per the purl side, knit the knit side. Remember the first uh, three stitches and the last three stitches are a border stitch. Yes, so this was the second row. Row three will be purl, row four will be knit and row five will be purl. I will come back to you after my uh, uh, three rows. See ya! Welcome back. We will start row six. Slip the first stitch, knit the next two, the border. Next, knit two, yarn over, knit two together, knit one, two, three, yarn over, knit two together, knit three, one, two, three. See? This is the first row with these gaps. This is the second. Actually, this one here, it's between the first two in the middle. See? Again, yarn over, knit three. Oh, sorry, yarn over, knit two together, and now knit three. Yarn over. Knit two together, knit three, one, two, three. Yarn over, knit two together, knit three, one, two, three. Yarn over, knit two together, knit three, one, two, three. Again, yarn over, knit two together, knit three, one, two, three. Yarn over, knit two together, knit three, one, two, three. Yarn over, knit two together, Knit three, one, two, three. Until the end of the row, we will, we have four stitches. Knit those two. So this was row six. the second repetition of the gap, the gaps. Now, row seven, purl, row eight, knit, row nine, purl. I will come back 
to start a row 10 with you. See you. Welcome back. Uh, before uh, uh, we will knit the 10 row, um, I made two mistakes. Uh, on uh, row two, I didn't have uh, five stitches at the end, just four. And um, at the row six, I end up with four stitches, not two. Uh, I knit four, but I say two. So uh, this is uh, row 10, which actually it's a repetition of row two again slip the first stitch, knit the next two, this is the border, and this is the pattern, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, oh sorry, yarn over, knit two together, knit three, one, two, three, yarn over, knit two together, knit three, yarn over, knit two together, knit three, yarn over, knit two together, knit three, until the end of the row. Then I will come back to show you how to work next. See you. So I finished the row 10. From now on, we will work in stockinette stitch until uh, we need to decrease so uh, after row 10 we will cut the yarn leave it just a little bit and work with color 2 I have this remember baby alpaca from uh, King Cole, very soft, it works very, very beautiful. So let's see, this is row 11, leave it tail so you can see it uh, after that at the end. And uh, row 11, this is the border stitch, the first stitch that I always slip, but when um, changing the color, I knit just this time. So knit three, purl until the end of the row until the last three stitches sorry i made a lot of mistakes this tutorial i really hope you understand my explanation and i really hope this tutorial will help you to knit my Lucia bonnet it is so pretty so pull until the last three stitches you see I also pull the yarn over 
see this is the yarn over see just burn last three stitches knit I will make one more row with you I will make a knot here because on the next row uh, so we will work here row 12 on the th uh, 13 row I will knit this together with my yarn I will show you slip the first stitch knit This is a very easy weather. I really hope you will enjoy working this bonnet. You can also follow me on uh, Instagram. little knits you can also uh, see me on Facebook same name little knits if you enjoy this tutorial and if you like I will make more hopefully the next one will be much better than this one so this is the end of the row 12 see this is the pattern so pretty and so easy let me show you what I am doing with this tape I will bring up here slip the first and then see knit together like this oh sorry one two now purl see first stitches with this tail together then you can just um, cut or uh, you can do like this let me show you how you can fix this And then just cut what has it. okay so I reach the part when um, I need to start decreasing I worked let's see nine centimeters and now I'm gonna leave this part and see remember that we cast on 54 
stitches. So, I need two more needles. I work with four needles now for uh, the decreasing part. So, let's see. Slip, knit, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven stitches. Six plus that slip one. See? Two, four, six, seven. After uh, these seven stitches, knit two together. Again, knit seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, knit two together. <clears throat> this is the first needle. Now we will work with the second needle. So again, knit seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and knit two together. Again, knit seven, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Knit two together, and the last part again. Knit seven, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and knit two together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and these are the last two stitches. Knit two together these last two stitches so actually um, I decrease in six places to here to here to here now this is the circular decreasing the next row this was the first row of decreasing the next row just knit like this oh sorry it's hard to this is the first stage just pull so the gap here uh, could close now just knit this all Till the end of the row. have space here so my needles make them nice on my table
ok, so we are again at the beginning of the row now we work six and decrease two so one a two three four five six and knit two together sorry i said decrease two no just knit two together and again one two three four five six and knit two together until the end of the row knit six one two three four five six knit two together one two three four five six knit two together and the last part knit six one two three four five six knit two together one two three four five six knit two together next row just knit <coughs> so the first row of decreasing knit seven knit two together until the end of the row row two of decreasing knit row three of decreasing knit six knit two together until the end of the row row four of decreasing knit then row five of decreasing we will knit five and knit two together knit five knit two together until the end of the row row six just knit row seven knit four knit two together knit four knit two together until the end of the row row eight knit row nine knit three knit two together knit three knit two together until the end of the row row ten knit after the row ten of this decreasing i will come back and show you how i end the decreasing okay so i made my decreases row 10 this was the row 10 and now the last two rows knit two knit two together knit two knit two together until the end of the row knit two knit two together knit two knit two together knit two knit two together and the last row we will do knit one knit two together knit one knit two together once again knit one 
knit two together, knit one, knit two together. And the last part. <coughs> knit one, knit two together, knit one, knit two together. We will cut the yarn. Give a little bit to sew on it. I have my needles here, my needle, sorry. And How easy is we end up with twelve stitches, four stitches on each needle. We get them together. this yarn to close the gap turn the bonnet and we will secure this yarn with double knot insert one and get pull the yarn one more time here and cut okay we will cut this one too carefully let's see what we can do with this It's very easy to make this bonnet. Maybe my explanation is not so good. So here we are, our sweet Lucia. I must tell you, I always, always block with my bonnets always because uh, they would look like this this is the difference see but <coughs> next <coughs> sorry oh oops sorry uh next we will do um the ties So, how can we do that? Let me show you. We will pick up four stitches from the each corner. You see? From here. And we can take one from here. is 
first one. Next, the second one. Third. And fourth. I will show you right away. Now, we will work in stockinet stitch for um, 60 rows, okay? After those 60 rows, I will show you the last part of the tie. have to secure this yarn here we will make one or two knots okay this was my second row work together two or three stitches this day Okay, so this is my four row. All the way until you reach 60 rows. Okay, so I've done my last row, row 60. Actually, this is 59. <laughs> Sorry, this is the row 60. And now row 61, knit one, make one right, like this, knit two, make one left, this is row 61, row 62, of the tie. Row 62, purl. Row 63, knit. Row sixty four, pearl. One more two rows, sixty five. Row sixty six. And on row 67, we will again increase two stitches, one right and one left. So this is row 65, knit one, make one right, see, between the first and the second stitch left like this make one to the right 
knit until the last stitch and again make one two make one left knit the last stitch row 68 row another six row in stockinette stitch until we reach our last increase so this is 71 this is 72 We make three increases, separated by seven rows of stockinette stitch. In case I am doing something wrong here, just to know. After this purl row, we will make the last increase for this tie. So this is the last increase. Row 77. Okay. Row 78. We will um, bind off on row 82. I will come back to show you how I do my bind off. Let's see, this is the bind off row. Two together, two together until the end of the row. And the last part is the border I will use for the border crochet hook number 3.5 millimeters okay. let's cut this yarn I just cut my finger almost <laughs> okay and see I remove this tail I don't usually make a lot of knots okay and I have one more here the beginning of the tie just 
explain it through the stitches once and second and these are the ties let me show you remember we need to block this bonnet or steam or whatever method you like now let's make the border so this is my ugly uh, three millimeters sorry I said three point point five no it's three and we will attach attach the yarn right here in the corner like this see this border we will make so pretty and so so easy to do so let's see make one chain in the next stitch simple crochet chain one and si simple crochet in the same stitch see skip two stitches and in the third make one simple crochet chain one simple crochet Skip two stitches in the third, make one simple crochet, chain one, and simple crochet. Again, skip two, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Skip two stitches in the third, single crochet chain one single crochet in the same stitch see how beautiful i will show you how it fits this bonnet skip two single crochet chain one single crochet in the same stitch until we reach here okay so I will show you what I have working here <laughs> see you so I came to the end of my row I will slip stitch in here and cut this yarn and this is the moment of true let's see
Ok. We are ready with our Lucia bonnet. She is pretty. After blocking, it will look great. Let's see. Okay. Just a second. Okay. So this is it. <laughs> this is the Sia. It's easy to make. I really, really hope you will give a chance to this bonnet. Uh, for any other question, you can leave a comment. You can find me on Instagram, Little Knits, or on Facebook, same name, Little Knits. And uh, thank you for watching this. And uh, what can I say? Happy knitting. Bye-bye.